Hello, Roy Mithril here once again, getting back to Cuphead. And so today I think we have the last fairly easy-ish boss to deal with, so let's prepare for that. I think I'm pretty happy with that shot selection. Mainly I just want to switch back over to the smoke bomb. I have been told that the smoke bomb actually does have an effect during flight levels, but I think the coffee actually served me better there. So, let's go for it. Sally stage play in Dramatic Fanatic. Here's a real high class it's on. This is one of those where I just really love the theming. The whole thing is basically like a stage production going on. Most of Sally's attacks, I think, are pretty straightforward. Just be sure and get out of the way of that. The fans can still cause damage even while they're lodged in the floor, so do be wary of that. Okay, so we're already in the second phase, which is also the phase that I remember the least about. Oh, right. Babies and, for some reason, wind-up mouse cars? What? <laughs> it's not the strangest thing I've seen by far in this game. So we've already taken damage. So, yeah, third phase we suddenly turn into a JRPG. That's what you're supposed to do to get over that wave. It can be a bit awkward. Smoke dash works as well. But yeah, you're supposed to just parry that big pink star to get over the wave. Okay, gotta watch out for that umbrella. Please exit stage left during my standing ovation. Okay, so we made it pretty close to the end. Obviously, we were taking damage. But we've at least at this point seen most of the fight. A great slam and then... So I think the main parry opportunities are the blown kisses, Maybe the pink stars during the JRPG phase, and I think some of the roses during the last phase. Okay, you've got some range on those. One of the few drawbacks to the charge shot is the fact that you lose the charge if you have to dash. Still, small price to pay. Act two. This definitely feels like the busiest phase as far as things that you have to watch out for. Jumped right into the baby bottle. Fail quote. Stay away from center stage or succumb to the power of a starlet's rage. I didn't have anywhere to go there. Fail quote. Break a leg. Nah, break two. Good day for a well Here goes. And it's another one where I love all the background details, like seeing the groom nervous in the background there. I think he actually reacts with happiness if you get hit by our attacks. So that's pretty cool. I think I had heard that there was actually originally kind of a branching path with this fight. That you could either defeat the bride or the groom. And depending on which you defeated first, things changed along the way.
I guess they figured that was a bit too complicated for just one fight. Okay, we've gotten two parries so far. Not quite enough for a full charge, and we're going to need one more parry. But there we go. Okay, we're through this phase, and that was the one that worried me the most. Right into the lightning. We haven't gotten a fail quote here, have we? Good riddance. Go away. It is time for my soliloquy. Doesn't quite rhyme, but it's the thought that counts. At any rate, I don't think it's soliloquy. Maybe it has two different pronunciations? That could be the case. Lost track of the fan. Managed to bounce right over my attack. Okay, two parries. I don't know why I thought that was the end of the phase. Now it is. And a last parry for me. How thoughtful. So we've already gotten all three parries, at least. Ah, got hit right at the end of the phase. Here's a real high class belt. Now go. Overall, most of our attacks are pretty easy to deal with. But for some reason, those weird wind-up mice, those tend to catch me off guard sometimes. There's no real reason why they should. It's a pretty simple pattern. They just go along the ground up one side, get to the ceiling, and then fall down on you when they're directly above you. So it's one of those things where it's easy enough to know what they're doing, it's just reacting properly to them. Don't know if I got two or three parries there. Got cornered by everything there. Badly positioned mice, babies, and the actress herself. The things video games make you say. It makes context. Uh, it makes sense in context. I swear. Okay, only got two parries that time. Oh, this is bad. Oh. That was rude positioning. <laughs> 
Probably should have just tried to smoke dash through her, but didn't think of that in time. Okay, where are you going? Right into her feet. A great slam and then stop. Here goes. Okay, that's two. But phase over. Go ahead and hit you with this. Mm. It is so easy to get cornered in this fight. I may have underestimated her. The main thing is just knowing some of the remaining fights are going to be worse. Okay, two parries, phase over. Okay, this phase is done. Okay, the wave does block your shots. And the meteor can actually hurt you. I'm not sure I knew that, actually. Let me just stand here while this crashes into my head. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen her lead that attack. Now I feel like she's doing it more often. Ugh. Fan was lasting a little too long there. Yeah, I feel like I'm just barely dodging that now. It didn't seem to be as much of a problem earlier. But now we have problems. Okay, phase over. I don't know why that suddenly started feeling more difficult. Okay. RPG phase. She can still hurt you. This 
I don't know why I thought she didn't. I really need to stop making assumptions in this fight. It's not going well for me. That could have been a mistake. Okay, meteor coming. Okay, we got through that phase pretty quickly. So now this. Cornered by roses and umbrellas. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is if the parry on that star counted. Because if it did, I think we got it. It didn't. Ah. Uh. Well, I think that's a new one to fail the A+, is we got everything right except missed one parry. Okay. So the star during the RPG phase does not count. You either have to get three of the kisses, or if you only get two of them, you have to get a pink rose during the final phase, I guess. Oh, that's a shame. But we got the contract anyway. Okay, that should do it. Also not quite sure why it is my controller keeps wanting to move to the left. Thankfully it didn't do that at a really bad time. But anyway, A+. So yeah, that fight wasn't too terribly bad. A lot of it was just making clumsy mistakes on my part. This is one where I definitely felt like everything that went wrong was my fault. Why are you doing that, controller? Please tell me you're not dying or something. Uh. But, yeah. 
So with that, that's where we're going to call it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well. So, what's my take from the box office, anyway?